FCPA corporate enforcement policy. Uh, let me explain a little bit more about what that, uh, that is because the policy that Jamie just announced is very much in line with what uh, we are trying to promote at the Department of Justice in terms of good corporate behavior, uh, voluntary self-disclosure, cooperation, remediation. That's sort of a snapshot of where we are, but I thought what we would like to do for the next uh, hour and then take some, uh, roughly an hour, and take questions is, is talk about some specific things that, in how we deal with them, because they might help be informative to the defense lawyers and prosecutors in the room to know uh, our views on pleas, our views on sentencings, our views on electronic discovery, how we deal with some of those things. Lawyers can't make public statements that are substantially likely to materially prejudice a case. That sounds like a real limit until you get to the exception. And the exception drives a truck through the rule, which is why we hear on a daily basis from everyone from Michael Avenatti to Rudy Giuliani. And here's the exception. The exception is lawyers on both sides can make public statements that they reasonably believe are necessary to protect their client from substantial undue prejudicial effects of recent publicity that they did nothing to initiate and that their client did nothing to initiate.